AITA, asking particularly for men's opinions, as per the husband's request. I had a baby eight weeks ago. My toddler is only 1.5 yo, so two under two. I took three months unpaid maternity leave, had to save up during the pregnancy to afford it. My husband didn't get any leave and had to keep working. He works from home. During these eight weeks, my husband has gone out to a couple of dinners, a late meeting, neighborhood committee, a wedding, that I had to tag along to, unwillingly, at only six weeks after a C-section. To make him happy, late drinks following one of the dinners. He came home at 4.30 a.m. last week, and is scheduled to go on a bachelor trip later on, that was supposed to be a weekend in New Orleans and is now a four-day international trip to Jamaica. He also told me about having three couples over to our house, which then turned, without my previous knowledge, into a 42-person get-together. Yes, you read that number right, and he's telling me he can't end that event at 7 so we can put the kids to bed because he can't ask people to leave. So he has not been deprived socially in any way. Now he's saying he wants to go to a double birthday party in NYC this Friday, which will naturally mean a late night. I'm arguing that, as a father of two very young kids in the trenches of postpartum, he should be sitting out of some of these events to stay home and help me at night. Our nanny is off the clock at 7 p.m., 5 p.m. on Fridays, so it's at night that I need him the most. He argues that one. He's home all day instead of going out to the office and having drinks after and two. He's able to wake up early after a late night to help with the kids. However, one, it's not my fault his job is from home and I tell him he wouldn't get to be out for drinks every night if he has a baby at home that needs him and two. While he does wake up at 7 a.m. after a late night, he then proceeds to be in a sour mood about how exhausted he is and I end up picking up all the slack for the next couple of nights to help him recover. So it all falls back on me anyway. Of note, while I am on maternity leave now, I'm with the kids all day along with the nanny, so I'm not sitting around doing nothing. I also have a mental illness that requires me to prioritize my sleep, particularly in the postpartum period, which I have been completely putting aside in order to favor my husband getting good sleep because he's working. Also, he gets reasonable chunks of break time throughout the day, so he is not working nonstop by any means. Am I being unreasonable? Isn't it fair that, as a father, he gives up some of these social events while his baby is a newborn? Should I just suck it up and let him be out and about for as many late nights as he wants? Edited to add, I am the breadwinner. I make more than triple what my husband makes, so I am not a gold digger. Because I work, I hired a nanny. I simply didn't want to fire her just for three months of leave and lose her, so I saved up during pregnancy to be able to keep her. Working people need childcare. Simple as that. My husband isn't a terrible person or I wouldn't have married him. When he's home, he's absolutely a dad to his kids, especially on weekends when he's off work. It's this one issue about the crazy amount of social events during this period that I'm having a problem with. We did get tons of women's opinions in a FB group, so then my husband asked if we could also get men's. I didn't know this would be a problem before kids or even after the first kid, because this all began after my husband went back to school for his master's and met all these friends that he now believes it's crucial he network with. They're not co-workers. We are not relying on Reddit to fix our marriage. We have recently started marriage counseling. We were simply curious what everyone else, unbiased third parties, thought because we both believe we are right.